In swordsmanship, we talk a lot about guards or stances. This is just a starting point for us to launch our techniques from. Let me give you some examples. This is a pretty common one you've probably seen in a couple different types of swordsmanship. It's because it's a good spot to launch cuts from. There's a lot of potential energy in the blade. I don't have to wind up. I can just go straight into my cut. In German longsword, we do a lot of twisting stuff from here. You also see this one a lot in Kenjutsu. There's another position down here that's very defensive. This is great because I already have one side of my body covered, and I can easily transfer that protection across my body and wherever else I need to go. It's also good for thrusting. It's good for cutting, but you do need a bit of a wind-up first. I personally like this one a lot. I have a lot of steel between me and my opponent. I can do really deceptive point work, good for thrusting, and I can easily transition out of this once I use it. These are really fun, and you can transfer between these positions as you start to get the hang of them. 